Okay, hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a very simple proof of the triangle inequality. So triangle inequality is just written there and it states if we have the modulus of a plus b is going to be less than mod a plus mod b. And we'll look at what the significance of this is in just a moment after we've done the inequality and we've actually shown this. Um, but essentially it's very, very important and it's a very key property of triangles. So let's first start by considering the left hand side of the equation. And we're going to actually consider the square of these expressions. So we're going to consider the square of the left hand side and the square of the right hand side. And it just makes it easier. And you'll see why in a minute. But if we have mod a plus b squared, well, it's just going to be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And as you can see, I've got a little asterisk 1 there. So let's come over and see the side note. In case you uh, didn't believe me with that expansion there, we know that mod a plus b is just like taking the square root of a plus b squared. This, um, we expand out the a plus b squared and we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then obviously because of that, if we take the mod of ab squared, we're going to end up with a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you've done a little bit of work with um, modulus properties before, you should see that right away. But again, hopefully that side note helps there just as a little bit of justification. Because remember, whenever we take the modulus of it, we want to essentially look at its length if we imagine that it's a vector. So now we're going to say that that's less than or equal to a squared plus 2 mod a mod b plus b squared. And look, I've got side note 2 and 3 there. So let's see what the side notes say. And again, you're probably wondering how I got there. Well, it is a property of the modulus. If we have q, then q is going to be less than or equal to mod of q. And hence, we can say the same thing about ab, because ab would just be, say, some constant. Um, ab would be less than or equal to mod of ab. So that's how we are able to get the less than or equal to sign. But you're probably wondering, well, how come you got mod a mod b there? And again, mod a b is the same as mod a mod b. This is another property of the modulus. So as you can see, we're going to use a few properties of modulus. So hopefully you're uh, familiar with a few of them. If not, it may be worth looking in your textbook um, for them. Again, we use about four. So now consider the right hand side. On the right hand side, we have a plus b. So mod a plus mod b. And we're going to consider the square of that. So when we expand that out, we're going to end up with a squared plus 2 mod a mod b plus b squared. And you're probably wondering, well, where's a squared and b squared coming from? Well, again, we can say that this is equal to mod a mod a plus 2 mod a mod b plus mod b mod b. But again, as you can see with the little asterisk in the 4 there, we've got another property we can use to make it simple. And as we can see that the mod of a times um, multiplied by the mod of a is just going to be a squared. So let's keep it nice and simple there. So as a result, we notice that this expression here, a squared plus 2 mod a mod b plus b squared, is less than or equal to the original expression we got because of the fact that, well, we've essentially shown that that there, mod a plus b squared, is less than or equal to that there, the right-hand side of the equation, which we had all along. But um, remember that these are the squares. So there's one la last step that we have to take, and that's taking the square root of both sides. So what we end up with after that um, is we end up with the triangle inequality that, that you know, triangle inequality that we know and love, which is mod a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b. So hopefully you can follow along with this. Maybe just rewatch the video again if you need um, help. The main thing is understanding the modulus properties. Once you've got that, it should just flow out quite naturally. You know really like this proof because it's quite straightforward, quite simple. Um, and so essentially we've proven the triangle inequality, but you're probably thinking, so what? What is this triangle inequality? Why is it so important? Well, let's consider three vectors that make up a triangle. We have vector A, vector B, and hence, if we look at the resultant vector, which is uh, this one here, we have vector A plus B. So if we consider a triangle comprised of those three vectors, then the length or modulus of two sides, A and B, um, cannot be lesser than the length of the third side. So we've essentially shown that if we add those two lengths together, it can't be less than, um, it can't be less than that side there, essentially. That's what we're saying, which sort of makes sense when you think about how triangles work. 
So again, this was a simple triangle inequality proof in about five minutes, so uh, give it a while to sink in, maybe watch the video again if you need to, but the key thing is to know your modulus properties, and um, yeah, essentially just work through it. Thank you for watching.